Hello computer science students. So today you'll be working on your personal websites and you're going to be focusing on adding two new web pages. So, so far you've been working on your homepage. Today I'm going to teach you how to add your about me page and your portfolio page. So the first thing you need to do is when you go to MSUba.com, make your way to computer science 2. Okay, so on this page from a computer science 2 students, meaning if you're in my period 3 or my period 6 class, you'll see instructions for today, Monday, March 16th. So before you even get started, I want you to double check that you're done with your homepage. I'll walk you through an example uh, so that you can double check if yours is ready to go. If you are ready to go, then you're already doing step two, which is watching this video where I'll be explaining how to add the About Me page and the Portfolio page. And then finally, step three is I want you to follow along with the video and do it to your own website. Now, if you forgot how to get to your website, here's one way to find it. You can click on this link, Student Websites. It'll take you to the spreadsheet where you can find your name. So my period three class is the first tab. Period six, you can find your name in the second tab when that loads right there. And I've included this last examples tab. If you go to this examples tab, you can see the website that I show in class as well as a previous student website that earned a high grade. So let me start off by showing you my website. Here's my website so far. And right now is where you can double check your website and see if you have all the five parts that you need in order to have a complete homepage. All right, so this is what a completed homepage looks like so far. You should have a title, something along the lines of welcome to my website. You should have a short or long paragraph, it doesn't matter, as long as you have a paragraph that's meaningful. You should have a list. The list could be a list of things you like, a list of uh, things that people are about to see on your website. Also up to you. You should have three links. The first one should be to this homepage. The second one should be to the About Me page. And the third one should be to the Portfolio page. And finally, you should have a picture of your choosing. Here's a picture of a dog. All right, so let's go in and see what the code looks like. So remember, all of our code always goes in HTML files. So right now, my homepage is in index.html. And I like to see my website side by side my code as I work. So I'm going to click Show and select Next to Code. All right, so I'm going to scroll down until I see the body tags. There's one. And the other one is down here. So I know that my code is always in between the two of them. All right, this is my code right here. I've added some space right here so I can always tell it apart from the other code. All right, so here's the heading for my website. Here's the paragraph. Here's the list. Here are the three links to index.html, about.html, and portfolio.html. We'll be creating these files today. This BR tag here that's um, on a line by itself, all that it's doing is creating a space in between my three links in my dog picture. We don't need it, so I'll get rid of it for now so that you see that it doesn't change much. All right. And this long code right here is the link to this dog picture. If you scroll all the way to the right, remember image tags end with another attribute called ALT where you have to describe what's going on in the image. Okay, so if you have these five things, then that means you're ready to move on. If not, pause this video and finish your homepage first, please. All right, so if you are ready to go, here are the instructions on how to create the About Me page and the Portfolio page. So, over here on the left side, there's this new file button. Please click that. And now you're going to have to type in 
the name of these two files yourself. So it's very important that you pay attention to details and that you're very careful about not making any typos. The first page you're going to add is about.html. So notice it's all lowercase. Uh, there's a dot in between about and HTML. All right, and make sure that there's no typos. Once you've typed that, click add this file. All right, and you'll get a new blank file. Let's do the same thing again for portfolio.html. Okay, again, portfolio is spelled P O R T F O L I O. Don't forget the dot and HTML. When you're done typing that, click add this file. And now you've set up your about me page and your portfolio page but notice that they're blank and here it gets a little bit tricky because if we leave it like this then these files don't know that they're html files so on my website so if you go back to missyupa.com notice that i've included a link that says html starter code so please go back and click that link It'll take you to this code, which is the code that you always want to have at the beginning of an HTML file. So all you need to do is I need you to select all of the code on this Google Doc. I need you to copy it, so Control C. Go back to your brand new HTML files. So let me start with about.html. All right, I'm going to click in here, and I'm going to do Control V. All right, so notice. I've set up my about me page with the HTML. There's nothing inside of the body. Now do the same thing with portfolio.html. Click in here, do control V. All right, and now you've set up your portfolio page. So I'm going to stop this video here. The goal for this video is to make sure that you are done with your homepage, which is index.html. Then that you can create about.html and portfolio.html and that you can copy and paste this HTML starter code into your about me page and your portfolio HTML page. All right. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach me through email or talking points.